So today we're gonna to do the last of our pesto recipes and it's going to be a pesto stuffed roasted chicken. But the key is that we're going to spatchcock the chicken. And I am not sure if all of you know how to do this, but it is literally the best way to cook a chicken and my kids are obsessed. I probably make this once a week. It's my most made recipe because you can do it with different seasonings or spices and get a different result every time. But the key is the spatchcock because what it does is it cuts your time down in half and then in addition to that, all the skin gets nice and crispy. So I have here an organic small young chicken breast. Hi. Um, and I think that it's key to do the smaller size for this. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a sharp pair of scissor knife, of scissor knives, scissors, and you're just gonna cut down the backbone. So obviously this is the breast side right here, and then the backbone's back here. And so what I'm gonna do is just take my scissors and cut along the side of it. And so I always find that one side cuts way easier than the other, so that's clearly gonna be the easy side. So see, I've cut that one open right there. And then I'm gonna go along the lines of the other side so that it can lay completely flat in the pan. So, you can save this to make a bone broth later. I like to put them in the freezer and just keep a bag full of like chicken parts or extra things like that. And then whenever you're ready to make the stock, you can put it all together. So anyway, here is the chicken front. Here's the back, and what I'm gonna just do is kind of crack the bone, there it goes, so that it's flat, like this. And then, you can push down like that as well. And then it'll lay totally flat like this, but I'm gonna put it in a cast iron pan. I think a 10 inch cast iron pan is the best thing that you can use because it kind of hugs the chicken in nicely and you can tuck the legs up like this so they're kind of all nestled together nothing dries out so then i have kosher salt here and i'm going to liter liberally salt this with kosher salt because the key is that the salt isn't going to make the chicken extra salty it's just going to draw out a lot of the moisture that's in the skin and by doing that you're going to get that really crispy skin so i'm going to do both the top of it and underneath Okay, I'm gonna lower this a little bit so you can see what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so we have the flattened chicken, lots of salt, and here I have a fourth a cup of pesto. And so what you're gonna do is take your fingers and kind of get underneath between the skin and between the meat. And you're just gonna kind of like make a little bit of a pocket in there. So the first thing I like to do is do that on all the sides. So if you can't get in there for some reason because there's too much fat, you can make a little slit and go in that way. So here I'm doing that on this side because I couldn't get in. All right, and then you'll do the same underneath the legs and open up underneath this side. Okay, great. Now, I'm gonna use my hands because I really feel like, honestly, that's the best tool you have in the kitchen. And I'm gonna put some pesto in there and kind of push it down in the hopes that it'll go. Obviously, I separated my pesto into a separate bowl, so that way, you know, there's no cross-contamination or anything like that. Um, so I'm stuffing it underneath the breast and then I'm pushing it down. So you can see that the skin underneath is totally green now. And this is going to not only make your meat like super juicy and flavorful, but it just like, there's nothing like it with that fat cooking from the olive oil of the pesto cooking against the skin. It really lets the skin crisp up and it's just a wonderful way to cook it. So this will cook on like 475, 500 degrees, however hot you kind of feel comfortable making your oven. And 
normally for about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna get this into the cast iron pan and then I'm going to um, show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the chicken nestled into the pan, stuffed with the pesto. And I'm gonna give you one more tip. If you want really crispy skin, this is a great thing to meal prep during the day, maybe when your kids are at school, and stick in the refrigerator uncovered and let it get air dried a little bit and it's going to dry out additional moisture from that skin and make it extra crispy. Your kids are gonna love it. Okay, this is after 45 minutes. Gorgeous golden skin, nice pesto flavoring. I'm gonna squeeze a limit over it and then take the chicken out and I'll whisk together the sauce underneath and I'll spoon that on top. This is with a lemon squeezed into it. Just gonna get all that good flavoring, whisk it together.